All right, I've got some code for you to look at today, and luckily you're not going to have to watch me type it and listen to the keyboard sounds. But this is pretty short, and we can almost fit it all on a screen without scrolling. I made a tic-tac-toe game, because we're doing this, and I wanted to show that it was less than it sounds. You don't have to make 100 lines with a bunch of different functions. You can kind of throw together something that's pretty good. And this is pretty good. It does everything you need for tic-tac-toe. It makes the board, shows what the directions are, and then says every turn you make a choice, see if you win, see if it's a draw, and then switch from one player to another. If I run this, it's going to say, hey, here's what they're called, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I know that's not the best, but it's easiest to make. So X is going to go over here. O is going to go over here. And then let's have a couple moves. Maybe O is going to say here. And then X is going to win. It's going to get that diagonal. And it says X wins. So this is correctly doing that stuff. You pick a spot. It puts it in there. It sees if you win. And if you fill up all the spots, it tells you it's a draw. However, this has a lot of problems, some with the code itself is not quite as tight as it could be, some with actually running and running into errors. So I'll give you one hint. If you say uh, something that's out of range, then you get an error. But there are several others you could get. And I want you guys to look for that stuff. And this is a sort of proofreading assignment. You want to look through this and run this several times, trying stuff to see what is the room for improvement. How could you, if you had written this as a first draft, which is pretty good and it's got all the core logic, right? Um, if you had written this as a first draft, what would you need to do for a second draft to clean up some things to make it more uh, bulletproof in terms of what it can handle? And then next time I'll show you my second draft based on these things that you guys point out and a couple things that I point out. And then we'll look at that and say, well, how did that get better? Maybe in a few ways it's worse. And how might it evolve to a third step and what kind of trend are we seeing and what kind of um, layers are we building on to it. When you make a program, you don't just sit down and do a perfect final version all at once. You maybe write out the steps in pseudocode, then you fill it in with some basic stuff, then you test it, then you keep going. And we're going to kind of, you know, see that in action with this example over the next few classes. Let me see how to stop this.